Amy from Colorado Mountain Living and a few weeks ago I posted a video about epoxy concrete countertops and how they require a little bit of maintenance. In fact, we were noticing that our epoxy surface was collecting scuff marks. Not scratching per se, but just like light scuffing that you only see if you look at it sort of sideways, but then once you do, you can't unsee it. You see tons of scratching and, and uh, scuffs. So uh, uh, let me show you real close what I'm talking about. It's hard to catch these scuffs with the, with the camera, but if you get the lighting just right, you can sort of see right there. There's a bunch of scuff right here. And sort of as you go along, you can sort of see it right there. You know, they look great when you don't look too close, but when you start to get the light on there, it catches those little scuff marks. So this is what I'm gonna be trying to buff out. In the areas where we do more food prep, this counter in particular, we have a lot more of the, of the scuffing. So when I posted this video, people had a lot of really good um, suggestions for products to use to buff out, to buff out scratches and buff out uh, scuff marks. I'm gonna be trying out three options that we actually have at home. And we're gonna start with basic furniture polish, toothpaste, and some sculpting wax. This is like a softer wax, almost like, almost like a buffing compound. It's pretty soft, but I'm, I am gonna have to um, rub it onto the surface because it's not dripping soft. So we'll see how wax versus polish versus toothpaste works. And I'm only doing, I'm gonna do three squares. So I'm not doing the entire countertop because we actually don't really have scuffing back here where the appliances are. It's just mostly on the food prep area. And I'm going to be using this Black & Decker buffer right here. And I, and I realize there'll be a little bit of cross-contamination as I go from polish to toothpaste to wax, but um, we'll just see what happens. And if I completely screw it up, then I know how to redo the countertops. <laughs> we might have to go that route, but hopefully it's not that bad. So first thing, I'm just going to spray the surface with the, the polish. And what I'm hoping is that it'll just get into those micro cracks and then I can sort of clean the surface with a cleaner and just kind of get the chemicals off from the polish. We'll see what happens. I'll do all three first, then we'll compare. That was the lightest, that's just furniture polish, just a very light, oily wax. Next, we're gonna do toothpaste. And this has got that little fine grit, so I'm hoping that it'll um, do a little bit more. So I'm just gonna kinda mush it around first so it doesn't spray around. So that one's still a little bit dirty, so I have to clean it off just to kind of see the results because it's still got some paste on there. And the last one, this one's going to be for the wax. So the wax, I'm going to just actually rub this all over.
right, now the verdict is, let's look up really close and see what worked and what did not. Starting over at the furniture polish. I would say this, oh, this is the shiniest. It did not do anything for the scuffs. They're all still there, pretty visible still. Some dust from the, uh, from the buffer. There's still, you know, some residue from the polish, but all those scratches still there. It's like I need the light to see them, but see. So they're all still there. Nothing got filled in, still visible, but shiny. So I'm gonna have to wash that off. Here's the toothpaste one. This one's more dull. There's a residue of the toothpaste on here, so that would have to wash that off with some Windex. But, let's see. One of the bigger scratches is still here. See that? Still some fine scratches there. Um, thinking... Hard to tell. I might have to go over this with some Windex to really see, but it looks like there's still some fine scratching there. Okay, it's looking over at the wax polish job. Hmm, I'm gonna need help on this one. This one's definitely dull because the wax is all over the top, so it dulled the counter, but I'm having trouble trying to find the scratches. Hmm. So it's possible that this one worked the best for filling in those scratches. There's still some residual wax right here. But what I need to do is uh, Windex it all, shine it up, and see what's, what's left. So surface is cleaned and waiting for them to dry a little bit, but I think what I'm noticing is that the toothpaste and the, um, the polish didn't really do anything about filling in those scratches, but I think the wax did. Uh, and it's hard to say. All right, Brian just showed up. He wants to know. What's the conclusion? What's the conclusion? Well, the official conclusion is that none of them really work great. Uh, they, let's see. So we had furniture polish on the first one. It made it shiny and oily, but it didn't do anything for the scratching. <laughs> the toothpaste might have dulled it a little bit, but still it didn't really do anything for the scratching. Um, hard to say this is the most this one, this area is where we do all the food prep, so it was probably much the worst off. But the wax seems like it might have done better for the, the micro scratching, but you can still see a lot of it. So we're still on the hunt, but I did want to test some of the home products that we had to see if any home products might work. But I think something just a little bit more like a wax paste that would make this top shiny might be the ticket. So. so we've got options to try the products by 3M. We have uh, products recommended from companies that produce epoxy countertops. I saw a really cool product yeah. online that was like, oh here, shine up all of your surfaces. Uh, and Brian also has 6,000 grit sandpaper. So that's an option as well. So we're still working uh, to perfect our countertop surfaces. But I uh, thought we'd let you guys know the experiment, how it turned out using household products to buff the surface of epoxy countertops. So that's where we're at. And we'll keep you posted as we continue our journey trying to find the perfect product to make epoxy countertops shine for a lifetime. Ugh. All right.
experiment done. It smelled pretty good though. We had almond furniture polish and peppermint toothpaste. Yeah. Less than an inch of snow, they said. Okay. Except it's snowing harder and it's over it. Yeah. Two inches already. At least. Uh, getting close to three inches out there. Good hot chocolate day. Yeah. Dessert before dinner. 